city of mine how i love how i love the city of mine it never gets me down city of mine how i love how i love the city of What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is a speed run for the world's fastest D12, for the D12 from WPL. As you saw in the intro, it's got a little bit more power than stock now. So we're gonna put it on the bench, have a closer look at it, then we'll get straight in and see how fast we got with it. Right, before we before we look at this, I just want a quick shout out to myself. Um, if you followed the channel for a while, you know I've been asking you to buy me a coffee. Now, it's not just because I want your money, I'm doing a coffee truck build. We are that far from um, having enough money to buy the truck. So I'm getting a CA10 uh, from King Kong. Really, really awesome old school truck. I'm gonna turn it into like a coffee truck. So we're gonna have some nice um, graphics on it, do some nice weathered colors and stuff like that. And I want you guys to get involved in it. And uh, that's why I've been asking for the support. Uh, once I've done all my bits and pieces and done the videos, I'm gonna raffle it off and all the money made is going to charity. So even though initially it looks like I'm just asking you for money, uh, it's going to a worthy cause. So check the link out in the description, get involved. You don't have to, you'll still see it on the channel. It's not gonna be a secret build. Um, but off of the Buy Me A Coffee website, I will be putting some posts up to get some ideas from all the guys that have supported it so far on what they'd like to see with electronics and colors, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, if you just come to see this, let's get in a bit closer. So the D12 from WPL, these are awesome little one temp scale um, Suzuki carries or Bedford Rascals if you're in the UK there, Daihatsu D1 as well, really cool truck. This is mine. I've got a four x four one that I've converted. I've got a drift one and I've got this one. So what I'll do first, I'll just let you have a, a look at it, although you would have seen it on the intro and you'll see it in this video. But we'll talk about the wheels, we'll talk about the electronics and the hardware in there, like the uh, gearing, and then we're gonna get straight out and I'm gonna show you the first speed run on 2S and 3S. So if you're not familiar with this whole speed run challenge, it's been set up by WPL. I'll leave a link in the description to the WPL Facebook page. Um, if you're not on Facebook, I'll leave a little link to where you can find some more info on the categories. I've gone for the stock class, which is stock chassis, stock drivetrain basically um, with the body, but you can do modified. There's front wheel drive. I think you can do rear wheel drive. I don't know if there's a four wheel drive. I like the clean stock look. I know the wheels are a bit different, but I like the clean stock chassis look. Um, so that's what we've gone for. There'll be links in the description for everything. Loads of links in the description. The motor I'm using is a Race Star. I think it's a Race Star. 7,700 kV uh, brushless. 35 amp brushless ESC out of an LC Racing EMB Truggy. Stock servo. Dumbo RC transmitter and receiver with a gyro in there. WPL metal gears in the gearbox. I'll leave a link to them. Metal... Um, proper WPL drive shaft, metal axle, metal gears in there. I've put a little uh, like lowering block in there so it just brings the um, suspension down a bit. And on the front, I didn't realize at first, there's little holes in the top arms. You can use them as droop screws. So I've lowered the front down a little bit as well. Other than that, it's pretty stock. I know everyone's gonna be asking about these wheels. They are Contact RC, I wanna say GT12, I'll leave a link to them. And I've had some 3D printed um, adapters made for them to fit. So as you can see, it sits really, really wide, really low, really nice and stable it was. So that's the basics of the build. You will find loads more information on the, um, the challenge. It goes, it runs till the end of May, so you've still got time to enter it. I've extended it to July for something I'm doing. I'll leave a link to my video and I'll probably put it at the end of this video as well. Um, there's money to be won. You could win money from getting one of the fastest D12. So check out my video that I've left at the end. Remember to check out the link for the coffee truck build. Let's have a look at how fast this thing got. So first run 2S. Now I think, I think that's what we got to beat, 38. 0.4 mile an hour or say 38 and a half mile an hour GPS is on 12 satellites 
Right, here we go. Well, we're definitely not beating it on, tw on 2S. That's flat out. Uh, okay. I don't know if that 38 mile an hour was with a stock gearbox. I've not had a look yet. What was that? Not a lot. 15 mile an hour. <laughs> right, 3S run. I think we need to uh, <laughs> rethink this speed if it survives. It should do, it should do. Famous last words, right. We are ready to go. Let's check it's reading. Yep. Right, we should be able to break 20 mile an hour. There we go. It's a little flying machine. <laughs> well, at least it looks good, eh? That's all I'm gonna say. At least it looks good. 21 mile an hour, first test. Now I'm gonna to have to rethink this. I didn't want to move away from the stock gearbox. I just like the clean look of it all completely stock. I don't know. Anyway, 21 mile an hour, that's my official entry into the uh, G12 stock speed runs. <laughs> oh, oh, broken the steering. Have I broken the steering? Oh well, my steering, uh, I think my servo might have slipped out of the little um, bracket under there. Oh, I was going to see if we could pop some wheelies with it. I fixed it. Do you reckon we can do a wheelie? Whoa, can you do a wheelie? Yeah. <laughs> 